Now at 5 o'clock, tension grows between Colorado Parks and Wildlife and ranchers over their recently reintroduced wolves into our state. A wolf killed another calf in Grand County over the weekend. Thanks for being with us. I'm Karen Lee. And I'm Michaela White. And for Michael Spencer, so far this month, there have been six cases of wolf depredation in Grand and Jackson counties involving eight calves or other cattle. Your reporter for the mountains, Spencer Wilson, talked with the Stock Growers Association today about a new letter sent to Parks and Wildlife. And Spencer, they're asking for a wolf who caused some of those attacks to be put down. Here's the issue though, CPW knows that wolf, knows its location, and believes that it is mating with another one of their wolves. Their collars have painted right next to each other, and since they're trying to grow the wolf population here in Colorado, they don't want to do that and have said as much. After another wolf depredation on livestock over the weekend, the North Park Stock Growers Association and the Middle Park Stock Growers Association are calling on Colorado Parks and Wildlife to make a change, now. Quite frankly, CPW should be taking care of the problem. Mark Heckelman says he understands it's CPW's job to bring back the wolf population in Colorado. And killing a pair that's mating would be in direct conflict of that. But he worries about what those pups could learn from their dad. Yeah, it's hard to think that a dog wouldn't teach his young the same behavior. And that's an unfortunate situation. He says if CPW won't kill these problem wolves, it's up to ranchers to catch them in the act of killing their livestock, which is not only asking them to watch their herds 24-7, but jump into the fray of public discourse as well. What that turns into, I mean, a lot of people are quite frankly scared to death to pull the trigger on something, even if they do have a just cause. Um, they will be crucified in the media and by the political establishment in Denver. So there is fear there. Still, he lays the blame and frustration squarely at the feet of voters, not CPW. No, I feel like CPW uh, staff is in the worst possible situation in this whole scenario. They can't win. They're getting it from our side. They're getting it from the top, from the governor's office, whoever, whatever. CPW is in a no-win situation. They're not going to be able to keep both sides happy. Now, the Department of Agriculture and Colorado Parks and Wildlife released a joint statement this afternoon saying that they now finally have funding to support range riders, basically people on horses trying to shoo away wolves from these ranchers and the ranches, as well as other non-lethal options to try and keep wolves away from livestock. The Middle Park Stock Growers Association says that they are appreciative of that. And they're looking forward to cooperating with that as well. If you want a full list of all the depredations from wolves in Colorado, we have that on our website, CBS Colorado. Colorado.com. You can also see the full payouts to some of those ranchers. Not all of them have money yet, but they're expected to get some eventually. Live in the high country, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. You know, you've been following this so closely for us. Thank you so much, Spencer. Spencer covers what's ca happening across the high country. Recently, he's reported on stories from Steamboat Springs to Georgetown, Carbondale, and Frisco.